Ayub and Karen share a packet of sweets in the ratio 3 to 1. So if I write A for Ayub and K for Karen, Ayub's ratio is 3 and Karen's ratio is 1, 3 to 1 respectively. Now, if I was to draw this ratio um, as a diagram, I would cut it into four pieces, and Ayub has three pieces, and Karen has one. In other words, the ratio three to one, three to one. Now, immediately, intuitively, you can see that this can be expressed as a proportion. If I was to ask you what is Ayub's proportion, Ayub's proportion would be 3 out of 4, 3 quarters. And Karen's proportion will be 1 quarter. Now, every ratio can be expressed as proportions. All you need to do to express it as a proportion is remember that the denominator of the proportion is just the sum of the ratio amounts. 3 plus 1 is 4, so the denominator is 4. And then you write the ratio amount over the denominator. Mariam and David share 50 colouring pencils in the ratio 3 to 2. How many pencils do each of them get? Well, if we write M for Mariam and D for David, the ratios are 3 to 2 respectively. So 3 is for Mariam and 2 is for David. This means that for every two colouring pencils that David gets, Mariam will get 3. Now, immediately what we can do, we can write their ratios as proportions. And remember what I said, the denominator of the proportion is just the sum of the ratios. So what's 3 plus 2? 3 plus 2 is 5. Therefore, Mariam's proportion is just 3 out of 5, 3 fifths. And David's proportion is 2 out of 5, 2 fifths. Now that we have the proportions, we need to remind ourselves uh, how much is being shared. 50 colouring pencils is being shared. Th this is the total that's being shared. So, out of the total of 50, Mariam will get 3 fifths of the 50 colouring pencils. And to work out 3 fifths of 50, rem re remember when we are working out a fraction of an amount, we divide by the bottom times by the top. So that's 50 divided by 5 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. So Mariam will get 30 colouring pencils. And for David, David gets 2 fifths of the 50 colouring pencils. So, once again, 50 divided by 5 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. So, David will get 20 colouring pencils. Now, always check, do these numbers, do these amounts add up to the total amount of 50? Yes, they do. So, that's how you can check that you have not made a mistake. Adam, Khadija and Sally share £96 in the ratio 2, 7, 3 respectively. How much do each of them get? Let's write A for Adam, K for Khadija, and S for Sally. And their ratios are, the ratios should be written in the order of the names. So, Adam is 2, Karen is 7, and Sally is 3. Now, as we did last time, the first thing you need to do is write down their proportions. What is the total here? Well, the total here, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. The total is 12, so the denominator of each of the proportions will be 12. So Adam is 2 out of 12. Karen is 7 over 12. 
7 twelfths and Sally is 3 twelfths. You now you, you do not need to simplify the proportions, just leave them as they are and now let's work out their amounts. So how much is being shared? 96 pound is the total that's being shared so Adam will get 2 twelfths off the 96 pound so that's divide by the bottom. 96 divided by 12 is uh, 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So Adam will get 16 pound. And Khadija will get 7 twelfths of the 96 pound. Which is 96 divided by 12 is 8. 7 times 8 is 56 pound. And Sally will get 3 twelfths of the 96 pound. 96 divided by 12 is 8. 3 times 8 is 24 pound. And we're done. Now, as you can see here, remember what I said. Check that the amounts add up to the total of 96. Yes, they do. So I have not made a mistake. And we're done.